In this video we will complete the overhead laser calibration. You will need to have the following tools ready. Calibration puck and extension post. When ready park the machine and exit the front end. Now clean off the table and the calibration targets. Make sure there is no debris in the drilled holes. Open the teacher application. When teacher opens, the laser will display a crosshair on the table. Click the next button. Modify axis screen will allow you to change how the laser moves. You will need to adjust the laser in the following screen so make sure it goes in the direction you are telling it. You can use your keyboard arrow keys or the buttons on the screen. Once set click next. Now we will need to measure the fixed targets. Verify the laser box and crosshair is on the calibration target, move if needed. Now click measure to locate the target. If successful the laser will display OK and the box will be checked. Measure all four targets. If you get an error measuring point, try to clean the target and the area. Then retry the same point. If it still fails you will need to replace the target. Once all four targets are successfully calibrated and scanned, teacher will move to the next tab. If this is a new replacement laser, you will need to load the laser table file. Click load and select your table file. Install the calibration puck in the drilled holes on the table. First starting on the front left. Move the crosshair box to the center of the target. Click on measure. Again if unsuccessful clean the target and arrange the laser crosshair in the center of the puck. You want the puck to face the laser to reflect back. Measure the remaining three spots back left, front right and back right.
When you get to position 5, you will need to use the post with the target puck on top of it. Insert them together into the front left hole. Align the laser again if it's not in the center of the target. A sheet of paper may help in aiding to see where the laser is at that height. Measure the remaining positions back left, front right and back right. You want the quality point to be less than 1. If it's higher, we recommend to try and calibrate again. On the test projection tab, enter the dimensions to create a 36 by 36 inch rectangle. Measure the square and make sure the tape measure is flat to the surface. Now you can close out of Teacher and open the Titan software. Next we need to run a core hole test program to adjust the laser to the spindle. Make sure to enter the correct stone thickness in the laser projection tab. Set up and run your program. Once complete, project the geometry layer and we need to measure the distance it is off. Adjust the laser offset for X and Y axis.
Then check the projection again, modify as needed. Once satisfied, return the machine to production.